Punchboard Media, where we all bring something to the table. Pull up a chair at punchboardmedia.com. A couple months ago, was looking online and Will actually found this beautiful table uh, used actually in the Facebook classifieds. We had been looking to upgrade the table that we currently use as our dining room slash gaming table because the one that we have was small and only really fit four people around it. So we saw this one. It was for a good deal and it wasn't too far away from us. So we decided to go ahead and pick up this beautiful table. We got it home, got it all set up. It is absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, it doesn't work so well as a gaming table because it has these really, you know, nice uh, glass partitions inside of here. But rolling dice on them and trying to pick up cards from this surface is actually quite difficult. So we were on a quest to figure out how to alleviate that and how to get this to a better gaming surface when we needed it to. So the first thing that we thought to do was to go to the craft store and we picked up this large piece of vinyl. And we had this cut so that way it is the length and width of our table. And it worked as a temporary solution, but it wasn't quite perfect. You might have seen this in the background of a few of my videos, but I still wasn't 100% happy with what this turned out to actually be for us. So, right before Origins this year, I happened to see an ad for a new tabletop surface called the Tabletop Companion. Went ahead and emailed them, and a short time later, the day that we left for Origins, it arrived in the mail. I've had it for about a month now, so let me show you the Tabletop Companion. When the Tabletop Companion arrived, it came in this really nice and sturdy uh, shipping tube, which is also good for storing it in. Actually, I'm thinking about upgrading this to uh, a new uh, storage solution, but overall, this is a great way to store the actual Tabletop Companion. What I got was the complete set, so that comes in two different sizes. There is a small mat, and then the large mat, and I mostly use the large mat, but let me show these rolled out onto the table so you can see how they look and how they operate. So with my current setup, getting the whole thing of the large mat is actually kind of difficult to get into the screen, so I hope you can see that here. So let me pull this back down. But the main side, I would call, or the, uh, the felt side, is this nice uh, maroon felt that is reminiscent of some of the premium uh, tables, board game tables that you'll find out there. And this is a beautiful surface to play on. Uh, it is really easy if you're playing a card game. So let's just say you have some cards out for a card game. It is really easy to pick up the cards off of this surface. So you don't have to worry about people scratching and denting your cards. And if you have a card that's a little bit stubborn, you can kind of poke at the bottom and it kind of does that little lift up there. So that way you will be able to grab a card off of the table. Also, if you're playing a dice game and you have some dice, the dice roll absolutely beautifully on this. And if you can hear, it kind of mutes the sound here. So if you have little ones that are asleep and you're still out playing games, you're not really going to disturb them while you are rolling dice on the surface. Now that's just the felt side of stuff. If you actually flip this mat over, you have this rubber side, which actually prevents it from slipping on your table, but it's also a really good playable surface if you are playing with any game that has tiles or anything. So I have the uh, small piece right here. So let me just grab some tiles here. And if you place out tiles and you are building some kind of structure or anything, these tiles are going to stay put on the table. I mean, they're, they are pretty difficult to move around. They are going to 
stay right there and let's just say you are building something so as you're building something i know that's not quite correct but if you're building something and you accidentally bump it guess what it's not going to move it's not going to destroy the entire thing that you're building so that is really really fantastic for any of the tile games and when you're all done both mats roll up together really nicely and you can put them right into the tube for easy storage and transportation so you can take this wherever you want to play any of your board games put the lid on there for myself so the tabletop companion I have had this now and been using it for over a month now and I am absolutely in love with this product. I love this so much because I can't necessarily afford one of the nice board game tables. I mean those are going to go for $2,000 and up and well I'm not smart enough to know how to make my own plus I don't really have the tools to do so. So this is the next best solution and this is a fantastic fantastic solution that I absolutely love. And actually, um, one of the major board game table companies has just gone out of business. So now it might be even harder to, to find them because they're now even more in demand. But this is a great alternative and I highly, highly recommend it. Now I wrote down some stats here that I'm going to totally forget. That's why I wrote them down. Now the small mat that you saw is 24 by 36 inches and that'll run $49. The large mat is 36 by 48 and that runs $79. Or if you want to get them both in uh, the complete set, which is what I have right here, that'll run you $109, which is a $19 discount rather than buying them separately, which actually I would recommend that. Um, if you put out both mats, if you have one of those extra long tables, uh, you can actually put up both mats and they can go up to uh, for a 36 by 72 inch surface. So if you have one of those really long tables and you really want to have full on gaming or RPG night or whatever you need, you can get both of those out there and have a full surface of this, this nice felt or the nice rubber, whichever one you want it out. Or, you can stack them on top of each other and have the rubber surface in the middle and have the, uh, the felt surface around for all the players. Or you can flip it around to the opposite. There are tons of different ways that you can have this complete set set up or if you just want one or the other, whatever fits your table and fits your needs. Now they offer free shipping to the United States only. That's the only place they're shipping right now. Um, they may be expanding depending on how much the demand is. And it only comes in one color, which is this maroon. Um, they don't put logos, they don't put any designs, nothing distracting or anything. It's kind of, it's going to give you that feel of the premium board game tables, which is absolutely fantastic. Now board game, excuse me, not board game, Tabletop Companion just started in April of this year, 2017, if you're watching this later on. And they have my business. I absolutely love this product. I completely endorse it. I actually love this product so much. I have used it for every game that I have played since I actually had this in my possession. And, and with that, I have to give this, my Cloak of Maple, seal of excellence. So if you want a tabletop companion of your own, just go to tabletop-companion.com and you'll find out all the information there so that way you can get yourself a really cool board game playing surface. And make sure you tell them that Cloak and Meeple sent you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Meeple. On my next screen, you'll find my Patreon link as well as the subscribe link. And also down below, make sure you hit that bell to see whenever a brand new video comes out. And thanks for watching.